Joining him now is former North Dakota Senator and CNBC contributor Heidi Heitkamp and deepfake artist and CEO of AI art company Pinscreen, Hao Li. Uh, Hao, let me uh, begin with you. Julia mentioned in there uh, that uh, many of the platforms are requiring that material that is generated by AI be labeled as such. Uh, that feels to me like a hollow way of sort of self-policing and re relying on an honor system of the perpetrators of deep fakes to say, hey, this isn't really Joe Biden uh, using this kind of language, or this isn't really Donald Trump doing X, Y, or Z. Um, uh, why would, why would a, a bad actor self-label self what they're doing as a fake? Right. Um, really good question. Um, first of all, I think a bad actor wouldn't want to self-label uh, no. something as a fake. Um, but first of all, uh, there are a lot of deep fake detection technologies that are very, very advanced. So uh, deep fakes, you know, um, since the past couple of years are much, high, much harder to hide, right? So you can uh, use these advanced techniques to uh, detect if something is deep faked. So um, these platforms have the responsibility to label them if they decide that um, you know you want to watermark um, AI generated content. So, the, um, so let me just let me just interrupt. Let me make, just to make sure that I'm understanding the platform companies, whether it is a YouTube or a TikTok or an Instagram, they have sophisticated technology that can detect deep fake and put a watermark on it. Uh, are they doing that? Um, yes. Um, many of these um, you know, social media platforms have implemented those things. Um, I have uploaded um, content where sometimes it would accidentally you know, mislabel them as deepfakes. Um, but um, this is something that they have been working very actively with top institutions in academia. And you know, I've been involved in some of these programs uh, to develop technologies to detect deepfakes. So, uh, Senator Heitkamp, welcome. Uh, good to see you. I uh, hope you're staying warm if you're in North Dakota. Um, Howe just said that there is technology that can detect these deep fakes and that the platforms are deploying it uh, as they can. Is that sufficient or does there need to be some national standard? Um, and what would it look like if there was? I, th I think, Tyler, you hit the nail on the head when you say nefarious and wrongdoers are not going to listen to a scolding from a platform or from a regulator. And the problem you have in politics is once something escapes, uh, it, the, the bad news and, and lies go around the country seven times before the truth catches up. And so one of the issues that we have is we have to condition um, our voters to understand that everything that they see on the internet may not be real. You know, we used to say in consumer protection, if it's too good to be true, it probably isn't. If it is so bizarre that you think that can't be true, it probably isn't. And I'm not as convinced that watermarks are the answer. There's a lot of people thinking that for every technology fix that you have, that can be undone in a short period of time. And so this is a very problematic situation that has to, I think, be addressed from educating voters not to believe everything that they see on these platforms.